Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my channel. So for today for this video, I am going to inform you the difference between uh, working as a nurse here in Germany and uh, working as a nurse in the Philippines. I know guys, uh, it is very unfair to compare the third world country versus the first world country. Uh, this is just an overview for my co-Filipino nurses who are aspiring to work here in Germany. So, lahat ng sasabihin ko dito guys is based on my experience. Since I also worked in the Philippines 2 years experience in a private hospital 7 years ago or 6 years ago. And uh, from there on, dito na ako na work sa Germany. So, so, this comparison guys is not to scare you or to boast. So, ito yung mga bagay na napansin ko and and I want to share it to you. Uh, sa mga friends ko na nag-work dito sa Germany also at saka sa Philippines just um, correct me if I'm wrong kung so I know there are changes I know naman kasi hindi naman nag magpapahuli ang Philippines. So eto lang is based on my experience. So there are different kinds of rules and regulations sa different kinds of hospital. So dito, uh, sasabihin ko lang the rules and regulations sa hospital na tinatrabahoan ko dito sa Germany at sa Philippines. So kung sa inyo dyan guys who experience also na different, uh, I respect po. So without further ado, let's start. Okay. Magsisimula po ako sa start ng duty. Dito sa Germany, pupunta ka ng duty na naka-civilian. So, all your uniform uh, provided by the hospital. And you will not pay for that. They will provide you every day for your uniform. And you also, you also have your own locker wherein you will put all your things, your civilian clothes there when you change to hospital uniform. So the Philippines naman, um, you have to, to pay for your own uniform and uh, go to the hospital with your uniform. So go um, in and out mo, naka hospital uniform ka. So, so number two. So one, two. Ganyan magbilang mga German. Time in and time out. Sa Germany naman, dito sa hospital na pinagtatrabahoan ko, wala pong time in and time out. Uh, kasi po, punctual sila and they abide sa rules and regulation ng pinagtatrabahoan nila. So, sa Philippines naman, um, may time in and time out, may card ka, or meron ring yung first yung card and then after one year yata na change na with uh, fingerprint correct me if i'm wrong ha pero yun ang naalala ko for uh, sa experience ko working in a philippine hospital so three endorsement endorsement dito sa germany they printed nasa computer na lahat name ng pasyente diagnosis um yung plano ni, ng mga doktor para sa pasyente nasa computer na lahat. The outgoing shifts will print uh, a copy of that and then uh, they will provide us for us in incoming shifts. Uh, sa Philippines naman, may logbook or notebook wherein the outgoing shifts isusulat to ng pangalan ng pasyente, diagnosis, edad, edad, babae or lalaki, yung gender nila. And then, ang ingoing shifts naman sa endorsement, magsusulat lang doon sa notebook. And then, gawin rin nila yun for the next incoming shifts. Number four, mga doctor's rounds. Dito sa Germany, um, every station, they have their own doctors. So, um, kung mag-rounds man ang mga doctors, isahan na siya at saka 
mag-order na rin sila sa computer. Here in Germany, they are paperless na po. And computer na po ang ginagamit namin sa pag-carry out at pag-sign um, ng, ng, ng mga gamot ng pasyente kung nabigay na ba o hindi. Sa Philippines naman, you will have to wait for the doctor's arrival and then when they come for the rounds, you must be there with them. Kasi papagalitan ka nila kung hindi ka na, hindi ka, hindi ka kasama sa rounds. Um, may mga doctors naman na okay lang na hindi ka, hindi ka sasama sa rounds and may mga doctors na magagalit sa'yo. And then, magagalit rin pag hindi mo mabasa yung orders nila. So, dito sa Germany, by carrying out, sa carrying out, Germany, um, uh, kasi computerized na sila. So, every nurses, they have their own accounts wherein they can log in at saka ma-record kung sinong nurse yung naka-carry out ng order ng doktor. So, sa Philippines naman, um, isa-isahin mo pa talaga ang chart, babasahin mo pa yung doctor's order, and alam naman natin na ang mga doctors natin, they have um, special handwritings. So, sa Philippines, we need our TODAT with our name and license number. Para sa Germany, mm -mm, we don't need that one. So, ang ano lang natin is your name, your signature, and you're done sa paggawa ng reseta. <laughs> okay. Um, sa Germany, wala na pong reseta-reseta because um, when the doctor ordered a new medication, um, accessible na po lahat ang mga gamot sa station. So, ang station po is parang pharmacy na po siya. So, so the Philippines, Philippines naman, kailangan nating gumawa ng reseta. Um, na, as I remember, ang reseta, um, ginagawa namin siya um, pag night shift. So, lahat ng gamot ng pasyente sa night shift, iisahisahin namin sa isang reseta, isang gamot, tapos ibibigay namin pagkatapos ng rounds ng doctor sa pasyente. Kung sa Philippines naman po, may mga significant other na nag-aalaga at nagbabantay sa mga pasyente na nagpapaligo, minsan sila pa yung nag-change ng diapers uh, kapag tumatae and everything. Uh, dito naman po sa Germany, although may mga bisita naman po ang mga pasyente, ah, uh, ang nurses po ang gumagawa ng lahat. Like, um, paligo sa pasyente, change ng diapers, kapag vacation naman ng mga nurses dito, kapag uh, um, three shifts naman ang ginagawa mo, morning, afternoon, at saka night shifts, um, sa buong taon, meron kang 30 vacation leaves or 36 maximum vacation leaves. Um, sa Philippines naman, pagkakaalala ko ha, correct me if I'm wrong, we all only have um, 15 days. 15 days. So, 15 days uh, vacation. With pay po yan. Uh, sa vacation namin, uh, we need to um, pass na our, our vacation leaves the start of the year. So, kailangan mong i-plan na ang mga vacations mo for the for the next year or the for the for the whole year so um pagkaalala ko rin ha sa Philippines ang kanilang vacation leave is spontaneous so kung gusto mong mag vacation sa ganitong araw next month mag mag apply ka maghihintay ka kung ma-approve o hindi so, so um Ang isolation. Sa Philippines, ang HIV na sakit is isolated. Kung ang pasyente may HIV, isolated sila. Pero dito sa Germany, they are not isolated. They treated as a normal patient. Na walang, walang stereotyping or walang discrimination. Sa Philippines, um, pasyente na may kuto is okay lang. Hindi yan ina-admit and hindi rin ina-isolate. 
Pero dito sa Germany, kapag ka may kuto ka, katatakutan ka nila. And you will be isolated until mawala yung kuto mo. So, punta na tayo sa pag sa nurses notes. So, ang nurses notes dito sa Germany, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sentences only. And, sulat mo lang kung anong nangyari sa pasyente, anong ginawa mo sa pasyente, um, anong mga interventions na ginawa sa pasyente, anong reklamo ng pasyente, anong changes ng pasyente. Yung mga important details lang na masasulat mo, um, brief pero may laman. Ang hirap po mag-formulate kasi German po ang isusulat mo. So, German language. Um, hindi pa po ako 100% na perfect mag-German, mag-Deutsch. Pero, um, I thank God na nalalagpasan ko naman every duty. So, alam mo yun, yung miracle at saka yung ano lang ni Lord. Is, ano na, yung guidance niya. Ganun lang. Sa Pilipinas naman, so, every patient you need to, to make sopay. So, pay subjective, objective, um, plan, uh, intervention, at saka yung evaluation. Evaluation. Kung na-meet mo ba yung goal mo, yung plan mo, sa problema ng pasyente. So, so dito po sa Germany, nurses are, and doctors are equal. So, yung tingin nila sa um, colleagues nila are equal. So, walang magda-down sa'yo, walang sisigaw sa'yo. Magagalit man sila, but they will talk to you in a professional way. And, uh, they will explain also kung magtatanong ka. So, sa Philippines, um, they, um, may mga good relationships naman sila. Pero, uh, makikita mo talaga yung superiority ng doctors sa mga nurses sa Philippines. Here in Germany, here in Germany, you are not allowed to work 12 to 16 hours per day. Um, ewan ko lang sa ibang hospitals or Altenheim, pero sa amin, dito sa hospital namin, sa station namin, we are not allowed to extend our duty. So, we only have 8 hours per shift. Never pa, never ko pa na experience na mag 12 to 16 hours duty dito. So, sa so, so, Philippines naman, 12 to 16 hours na shift is very, very sikat. So, um, pupunta ka ng hospital, madilim, 6 a.m., pupunta ka doon, and then uuwi kang madilim rin. Kasi may 16 hours duty ka, di ba? Or sometimes 12 hours. Okay. Dito sa Germany, they are... Um, Significant others are not allowed to overnight or matulog sa kwarto ng pasyente. Pwera na lang kapag yung pasyente is uh, malapit ng pumunta sa heaven. Sa so Philippines naman, um, the significant others are allowed to sleep with their patient. Uh, Dito sa Germany, uh, you just call uh, ourselves um, with the first names. But we respect each other. We, so, Philippines naman, mom, sir, mom, sir, mom, sir. So, it's just a very big difference. At first, na pag tungtong ko dito, uh, parang, I feel, I'm so disrespectful kasi yung uh, head nurse ko, uh, head nurse ko, sasabihan ko lang, tatawagin ko lang ng kanyang first name, which is very awkward at first. Kasi, di ba, Filipin, mga Filipino na sasanay tayo mag-mom, mag-sir sa mga katrabaho natin. Pero dito, um, we call each other with the first names. So, that's all. So, kung may, may mali man ako nasabi, or may nakalimutan man ako, or may gusto pa kayong malaman about being a nurse here in Germany, or just comment down below. If you like this video, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And see you on the next one. Bye!